Welcome back to KTV Morning Live. Corey Keeley joining us once again in the kitchen. Great recipes to be found uh, on foodthought.com on your, on your site, but also using a lot of the recipes from Foodland yeah. Ontario. These are Foodland Ontario recipes. I love them. They're always easy. They do uh, what most people have a hard time doing is incorporating fruits and vegetables. It's very easy to eat, you know, junk food, carbs, whatever. It's, it's hard to, to that find way. ways to incorporate fruits and vegetables into every meal, and that's what we need to be doing. So I have a couple different things. These sweet potato, we didn't talk about. These are sweet potato wedges. So easy. Basically, you scrub your sweet potato, cut them in lengthwise, and then cut them into like eight pieces. Mm -hmm. You drizzle a little bit of olive oil and some Cajun spice. Cook them at 400 for 30 minutes, turning in the middle. Amazing. You can serve them with a little mayo or some yogurt, anything. Delicious side dish. Um, or an appetizer, even fun. And then in the last segment, we made this cashew chicken, which is a stir fry full of vegetables, protein, delicious. Um, the bean sprouts, we put some in, but I also like when you have a piping hot sauce and you put it on a bean sprout, they're so delicate that they wilt very quickly, but then you still get a bit of the crunch. So instead of using a noodle or rice, you could just put a bowl of bean sprouts and some spinach or something, and then you're going to serve this on top, your stir fry that's simmered with the delicious sauce. And you've got so many vegetables there. Now you're saying you often use the uh, the sprouts as an alternative. Yep, I for love the, for some of the higher for looking at some of the yeah. higher carb ratios or looking for more veggies in there. Yeah, when you want more veggies, try the sprouts or use your vegetables as a base. It's it is it's a great it's a great way to get extra. And when especially if you have something saucy, it just kind of covers it up and it soaks it up. So delicious. So then dessert, delicious right. dessert. You can buy um, if you go to a bakery, you can find these. Um, gorgeous pizza dough balls and you can do so much with them. This is, um, I just spread it out, you have to defrost it in the refrigerator or sometimes I just leave it on the counter. They say not to but it works. Um, and so then what we're taking is about four cups, three or four cups of apples that you just slice and um, we're going to toss the majority of this quarter cup of butter on top and the rest of the butter I'm just going to line around the pizza yeah, dough is. and we're going to put a little bit of cinnamon and sugar mixture on it. This is definitely so a dessert. Much you're making a pizza cake. Yeah, it's it's dessert. Like this is yeah, it's, oh, it's with you know, apples. It's, it's an apple pizza. So okay, dessert. <laughs> I mean, this looks just amazing. Look it's at this. It's delicious. So this is about a or, tablespoon of cinnamon or whatever you like. I love cinnamon, so I always yeah. put more. And then I put the rest. And there's a quarter cup of sugar. So we're going to put that in over our apples and toss them up. And if you have time, you can line them beautifully like I did. But look, wow. you can't even tell. So really, this time I'm not doing that again. I'm just going to dump it on top and spread them out because you're putting delicious goodness on top of it afterwards, which is uh, cranberries. This is Very amazing. good. And you know what it smells like too right now? Almost like a beaver tail. Well, this reminds me of your apple caramel too. Like anything you can incorporate apples and sh caramel and sugar. A little and bit of yum. cinnamon in there. It's, yeah, it does smell amazing. like the beaver tail. Yeah. It kind of is, it's just not deep fried. So, and then you're going to put as many um, toppings as you want. You can tailor this. What you're, the idea is to get your base, okay? I should back up. You're going to bake it without your cranberries. You're going to bake this for 20 minutes. And okay, then you're no gonna, cranberries, but yeah. just the apples and yeah, the and apples. Okay. Bake it for 20 minutes at 400. Then you pull it out and you put your toppings on. I've done it this way before and I, it does work because I'm not one to remember to pull things out of the oven unless I'm set. So I just throw it all in. These are sliced almonds. You could put walnuts, you put whatever your favorite nut is. And then it calls for some chocolate chips or white chocolate. See, that's why it doesn't Look matter. It doesn't matter if you do this. Um, and then you're going to put this in the oven at 400, and it's going to come out like this. You want to cut into that? Yes. Okay, good. It takes, it takes a total of 30 minutes, so it's very easy. I'll move that out of your way. Okay. Make it simple. Am I not doing this right? So easy. It might just be hard. I always give, I should have pre cut that. Oh, look at that. Just look tear at it. That. Get into it. It doesn't, we don't need to do it. Nice I can't, don't root it. It's gorgeous. Oh, but this Corey, is the fun it looks of it. too pretty. Look, here, there you go. There. All right, my first uh, So this is apple, apple pizza. dessert pizza. It's on foodlandontario.ca. Again, anything you need to know about apples, how to store them, um, you know, what, where, what's in season, which apples are out right now. Like, for example, you can find Macintosh Spartan right now everywhere you can find the delicious. Yeah, this we like is it. Delicious. How could it be bad? Honestly, and I can, you know me, if I can remember the recipe, you watching do you this. do it, we can do this. So it, it seems really simple. You yeah. have all the ingredients in your house. Use the apples. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yay. I'll save you guys a piece. 